Hi, I hope everyone's doing great. I think most people will know Joe Pye, famous YouTube machinist. I was watching one of his videos the other day and he was machining a small uh, cylinder for a steam engine and he was using a tooling ball and as soon as I saw that I thought well that's something I want. So I thought that would actually make a very good little project to make one, a little afternoon project. So that's what we're going to do in this video, make a tooling ball. So Joe Pye was actually using it to drill a hole in a cylinder similar to this one where the hole had to be drilled at an angle to intersect the port and who does it need to do that from time to time. So this is what a tooling ball looks like and of course if you've got a ball turning attachment for your lathe you could quite easily turn one up. However I've got this uh, wiggler set or wiggler center finder and it's got a couple of accessories I don't use which have a nice uh, steel ball on the end it's not extremely hard but it's pretty hard so I thought I'd like to adapt one of these so this measures just very slightly under 8 millimeters, and it's very consistent all the way around however the ball isn't very concentric with its shaft but we can fix that <laughs> Gently hold it in the chuck. Okay, see if we can get a sun hole in there.
Okay, so we've got our base and our ball. So I'm looking for the distance from the base, the underside of the base, to the centre of the ball to be 10 millimetres. So the ball is uh, 8 millimetres diameter, so add four, that's 14 millimetres from the base to the top. So I've made this step in this bit of aluminium bar, 14 millimetres deep. So we'll stick that in there. Add a bit of Loctite. Put that in. Use a parallel. Push that up. Okay, well that's it. That's pretty good, it's within a couple of thou. It's pretty good for my uh, purpose. The chuck normally runs pretty true within a thou or so. So uh, let's give or take a little. Quite happy with that. Using a tooling ball does require some infant school first day of trigonometry. One example could be a cylinder that needs a hole drill at 30 degrees intersecting with a port. A dolly can be made to locate the tooling ball. Then the tooling ball can be fitted. We know the distance from the cylinder face to the centre of the ball. In this case 12 millimetres. We can draw a triangle as shown and calculate the length of its shortest side. In this case, that equals 6 millimetres. We can then draw a second triangle as shown and calculate the length of its long side. In this case, 11.26 millimetres. Therefore, the distance from the centre of the ball to the drilled hole position is 5.26 millimetres. All you have to do is indicate the ball concentric with the machine spindle and then move the table over in the appropriate axis, 5.26 millimetres. In his video Joe Pye does do a cylinder similar to this, but a little differently. So do check out his video, the link's in the description. If you'd like to follow my example, then please feel free to take a screenshot of this drawing.